Hi everyone, this is Pam from Shabby Vintage Dreams. I am back to do a quick project share. Um, I got this idea actually a while back from um, Margaret, uh, Margaret Tommaso, and she had done a beautiful table runner with scraps of laces um, that she had and just kind of sewed them here and there as I recall. It turned out really beautiful. So I had a couple of um, table runners, just plain, that I bought, um, and they were very inexpensive. They just look like this. And so I picked them up at a really uh, reasonable price at a flea market. And then I kind of had an idea to play off of what Margaret did, and I just started <clears throat> sewing laces on um, on top of the table runner, and this is what I came up with. I think it turned out really beautiful. Um, a lot of these laces are from Esme's shop, not all of them, but um, quite a few of them are from Esme's shop, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at what I did. I just layered the laces on top and sewed, you know, strips down. And some of these laces were just so beautiful. They were sitting on my stash and I was thinking, you know, I wonder how it would look if I just sewed strips of lace onto the, to the doily. And so what it does is, isn't this pretty? I mean, there's like one, two, three, four, and then the doily. So four layers and then the doily, uh, or the table runner, I should say. So, um, this is about, this table runner, I think is about 40 inches long. Um, but I think it turned out really nice and I just left the edges raw. Um, and I think this is really kind of shabby looking, but I'm thinking this would make a beautiful scarf for a dresser. Um, of course it would be beautiful on a dining room table also, but um, yeah, I'm thinking a dresser scarf would be gorgeous too. So yeah, I just wanted to come on quick and show you that project. And then um, while I had my machine out, I decided to do another one. And same thing, exact same dresser scarf. It even has pretty embroidery on the back side. And I did sew this down. Um, all these things I sewed down. I did hot glue some of the edges once I finished if it looked like a little too floppy or whatever, I would tack it down with some hot glue here and there, but only after I sewed it together. So this is the second one I did, and this one's beautiful too. Also very shabby looking. And, um, you know, one, two, three layers here. I guess, well, four, three, and then the applique on top. But you can see, um, Again, a lot of these were from Esme's shop. And then on this one, I love this this one here. This one is just a fabulous lace. It's so pretty. The color is beautiful. If I get a chance to get some more of that, I will get some more. But yeah, I just laid the lace out on top and ran it through the sewing machine. It turned out gorgeous. Um, this was a wedding applique, and I had a strip of that, so I ran that down the whole center um these doilies i layered on a little bit of pink here um this doily was an antique doily i've had it for a while vintage i should say i don't know about antique um and then i had this pink applique i believe this was from annie's uh, annie Yee shop i've had that in my stash quite a while and then um same thing on this side, the doilies. So yeah, I think it came out really, really pretty. And again, um, this was kind of about displaying the, the actual laces themselves because they're so gorgeous. And I thought, wow, this is such a great way to just sew them down so that you can actually sit them out, you know, on a dresser or a table somewhere and actually just look at the beauty of those laces. I love it. This is one is exactly the same size as the first one too. So, so thanks everybody for watching. 
Um, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, whichever you would like to do. I appreciate any feedback. And uh, until next time, thanks very much. Bye for now.